Hello, how are you? Uh, Teacher Keith here, uh, giving a lesson uh, today on uh, homosexuality in Chinese. So uh, we should um, understand how to communicate about this. Okay, so first, um, one of the more uh, common ways to talk about a gay person would be to call them uh, what is called comrade. Uh, that may uh, on a few occasions be referring to somebody uh, who is part of the, uh, the government, but majority of the time we're going to use it uh, to talk about a gay person. So, um, Tong Zhi. Tong Zhi. Tong Zhi. Tong Zhi. Right now, uh, this word is um, a cognate. It is, uh, it means a lesbian. That is going to be la la, la la, la la, la la. Right, and a heterosexual is going to be um, yi xing lian, yi xing lian, yi xing lian. Okay, so E means that it is um, straight or, um, okay, and uh, Xing is going to be sex, uh, and Lian uh, comes from the word Lian I, which is to love, so uh, heterosexual Yi Xing Lian. Now we have um, hom uh, homosexual or bisexual, sorry, bisexual is going to be um, multiple sex love. Okay, so that one's going to be Shuang Xing Lian. Shuang Xing Lian. Shuang Xing Lian. Shuang Xing Lian. All right, and then if you want to say um, I'm straight, uh, you would say, um, well, the word for straight is going to be Zhi. Zhir, zhir, zhir. Um, so if you were going to say, uh, I am straight, you would say, Wo shi, zhir, wo shi, zhir, wo shi, zhir. And then uh, a straight guy would be, uh, zhir nan, zhir nan, zhir nan, zhir nan. And uh, a straight woman would be Jer Nu, Jer Nu, Jer Nu, Jer Nu. And uh, if you um, wanted to say you were uh, gay, you would say um, you would uh, say you are not straight. And what uh, being not straight is is going to be I am crooked. Uh, okay, so um, again, um, remember the country Taiwan. What that means is Tai with uh, like Tai would be television tower and Wan would be crooked. Uh, so, but back to uh, homosexuality here, we're going to say I am I am not straight, so I am crooked. Uh, wo sure Wan, wo sure. Wan, wo shir, wan, wo shir, wan, and then uh, to come out, uh, it would be to come out of the closet, uh, that would be uh, chu goi, chu goi, chu goi, chu goi, chu obviously to to go or to leave uh, or to go somewhere and goi obviously be in the closet okay um, now we can finally uh, get to uh, transgender transgender is going to be uh, bian xing ren bian xing ren bian xing ren bian xing ren Bian Xing Ren. Okay, so uh, you can probably guess uh, what this means. Obviously, Xing is the sex, Ren is person, 
and bn is going to be a change. So change sex person. Um, and next, uh, we have one more word for transgender. Uh, this one uh, is, uh, is uh, impolite to the transgender person. Uh, we do have Ren Yao. Ren Yao. Ren Yao. Ren Yao. Okay, so what that means is uh, person and uh, Yao uh, is kind of like a demon um, or a monster. Um, so uh, you can see that they are calling the transgender person um, a person monster. Uh, so um, again, that is um, a little impolite, but uh, uh, so, so that will come up, and uh, 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 if you live in China, uh, that may come up if you're talking about um, um, the people. Uh, there are a lot of people like this in uh, Philippines or Thai, uh, Thailand, uh, so uh, that may often be the word that the... Um, uh, the Chinese will use for uh, transgender, uh, although in China it is becoming uh, more acceptable uh, to to talk about these topics um, as it is becoming more uh, more mainstream or accepted, I guess. So uh, there you have it. Uh, give me a like, smash me a subscribe. Zai Jin.